Happy Easter and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing kind of an Easter favorite, a smoked ham. We're going to call this a double smoked glazed ham. And I say double smoked because this is a fully cooked spiral cut ham. I love using these. They're really simple and easy to do. So the reality is all we need to do is heat it up. But we're going to do low and slow and we're going to smoke it. And then probably when it's about the internal temperature of 135 or so, and we're going to lay this thing down just because it's going to fit in the smoker a little bit better on the top shelf. Now some of these spiral cuts may actually start to flap over, but the nice thing is this is going to allow us to season this really nicely and glaze it. So just go ahead and use your favorite pork seasoning on this. I'm doing this with a little salt, pepper, and ground brown sugar. Now I'm doing a really small one of these. If you do a large one, you might want to consider really putting a heavy amount of seasoning on there. It's a lot of thick meat, right? Some of these big picnic hams are a good 10 inches in diameter. It takes a lot for that seasoning to get all the way down there. So the other reason why I really like the spiral cut, our glaze is gonna work its way into those spirals, which is exactly what we want. Now we're just gonna put this in on the top shelf at about 225 degrees. We'll check on this probably about every 30 minutes or so just to make sure it's not getting too dried out. If it is, we're going to spritz it with a little bit of apple juice or water. Either one would be fine. All right, so this has been in about two hours or so. It's up to temperature. It's looking real good. And now what we're going to do is we're going to make this amazing glaze. And you can do this with bourbon, but I'm a big fan of rum, specifically spiced rum. Uh, this stuff is Old St. Pete Righteous Rum and Spice. It smells like something straight out of the islands. It's, uh, it's amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and pour just a little bit of this in here. Oh, about a shot or so. Yeah, we'll go with the rest of it. Into that, I'm going to go ahead and add some brown sugar, about a quarter of a cup or so. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Go. Then we're going to go ahead and put in a little bit of honey. This is just some good local honey. The last thing we're going to do is some crushed pineapple. Now, you could use cherry preserves, you could use orange marmalade, would be good, but I really do like pineapple on ham. So, get a little bit of this here and I chose the crushed pineapple just gonna mix this up real good we're gonna get it on the grill and we're gonna get this heated up you can see just how this looks now we're just gonna pop this right over our fire pot and we're gonna mix this up every so often what we want to do we want that to cook down, reduce a little bit, and get a little bit thicker. So I'll leave that go right over the fire pot for probably another 15 minutes or so. So after glazing it, we went ahead and let it go for about another five minutes or so. And I'll show you what this looks like. We'll glaze it one more time. Yeah, our glaze is starting to thicken up too. Let me show you. You can kind of see this glaze here. It's looking pretty good. You want that to just soak right into all of those little crevices there it nice and moist. Ooh, that was a glop of pineapple just went in there. <laughs> Scoop some of that out. Oh, and I can still smell the nice uh, rum in that too. We went ahead and glazed it three or four different times, probably been um, going another 35, 40 minutes with the glaze. I'm going to come put it right out here on this. Just set this guy right here. Looking damn good. Now, as I mentioned, you can see how this started to fan out a little bit. Looks amazingly juicy inside. A little bit drier on these pieces right here, but I'll tell you what, let's just, in the spirit of giving one of these a shot, we'll take one of these end ones off of here. And we're going to cut just a little bit out of the middle of one of these guys. So we can show you what that's like as well. Look at that. Nice and juicy, pink. Like all of these, they result in a nice little taste test here. Hmm. 
you can taste a little bit of the smoke flavor, but what you get the most is that sweetness of the rum and the brown sugar, the pineapple. A piece of this outer edge is a little more crispy, but delicious looking. Two ways you could do this, by the way, if you really want to just keep this really moist, you could dump pineapple juice in the bottom of the little pan and actually let it baste right in that, seal up the top of it. I actually like this little bit of a uh, tougher outer edge. I think it gives it a real nice piece. And given the size of each slice, it's nice and tender and juicy on the inside and just a little bit, I wouldn't say um, tougher, but a little bit uh, more of a bite along the outer edge. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Happy Easter for everybody that celebrates that. We will be uh, searching for Easter eggs with the grandkids and having a nice ham uh, lunch. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Safe and happy grilling.